Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what we're talking about is snook fishing with live shrimp. People often think that snook are all about finger mullet and pinfish and things like that. But the fact of the matter is just about everything eats shrimp. Everything. If there were no shrimp, the whole system would collapse because everything eats shrimp. Now, this is especially true for snook in the wintertime. In wintertime, that's probably their main forage is the shrimp. That's what keeps them going throughout the winter months. So really what I want to cover is just uh, how to present the shrimp, a live shrimp, and where to present it because there's a lot of snook catching fun you can have if you, if you fish a shrimp right. Okay. I just covered this. So snook fishing with live shrimp and winter's the best time because that, that's their main forage. But if you're somewhere where there's sea walls, and you can catch them all year, I'm just saying winter's the best for shrimp. They're really focused on shrimp in the winter. Uh, but sea walls. So you see a sea wall, looks like there's some snook up there. That's what's great about shrimp too because they stay alive very well. You can just pitch them up to the, uh, up to the sea wall where they are and just let them float on down. Let the current take them right past where all those shrimp are. It's a great way to catch snook by these seawalls. Docks is another one. You know, uh, snook love hanging out on our docks. Well, everything does. So you just, you see where the snook are, you pitch your uh, shrimp to them, or let's say that they're kind of spooky. You can put your shrimp on a float and be, instead of pitching to them where you might scare them with your presentation, you can stay far away and stay up current and just let the shrimp float to where they are underneath your bobber. Just make sure you have at least three or four feet distance underneath your bobber so you don't spook the, uh, the snook with your bobber. That's another way to get your shrimp to spooky uh, snook. So docks is a great place. Mangroves. Now mangroves are something, that, and actually any of these where you can get tangled up, uh, there's different ways to hook your shrimp. Wow, my shrimp looks a lot like a needlefish. But anyways, I was trying to exaggerate the horn on top of their head because that dark spot that you see inside of them is their brain. If you put a hook through the dark spot, you no longer have a live shrimp, you have a dead shrimp. And that kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm showing you to miss the dark spot and hook it in the horn. In the horn, in front of the dark spot or right behind the dark spot is how you do that. Now, when I'm pitching to like mangroves or some place where the shrimp might get tangled up, might get snagged, I do it a little differently. I'll bring the snook up the, where the hook is sticking out the back like this. Okay, so you hook it in there just like that where the hook is protruding from the back. It's just much more weedless that way. Great way to pitch the docks, and, and that goes for fishing redfish, flounder, whatever's in a dock that you want to catch. Uh, that's a great way to present it. This one is great underneath the bobber. Really gives it a nice realistic, uh, you know, way to, way to move around. Because when you do this, it certainly impedes their ability to snap their tail and move, which is how they get away from stuff. Uh, so. Just understand that. You're going to get a lot less movement with this hookup than you will with this hookup. But like I was saying about mangroves, mangroves are a great place. Snook hug the mangroves. In going out going tides, you know, most mangroves have some sort of mudflat or, or uh, sandbar adjacent to them. You know, very rarely they just drop straight off. I mean, sometimes they do if it's a lot of current in a river where you're fishing, but usually there's a, there's a mudflat area. It's a great place to target snook with shrimp. Yeah, I would rig them this way and you can even put a little split shot on them just a little bit from it to if you find a good spot where you think the snook are going to be cruising back and forth and just let it sit there. Problem is everything eats shrimp so chances are you're going to have a catfish or a mangrove snapper or a little flounder or whatever else is hanging up there before the snook. So to target the snook specifically it's best to have it sitting in your bucket ready to go you're sight fishing, you see that snook coming, you pitch that shrimp three, four feet in front of it, let them go get it. It's a great way to catch snook. And on the grass flats, grass flats are another one. That's when I usually will use a bobber. And what I'll do is I'll target those sandy potholes that are in the grass flats. 
So, you know, grass is there, but there's always sandy potholes in them. And all those predators love to hang out around those sandy potholes because their bait fish comes, here's the bottle, and they're hiding in the weeds, or if it's a flounder, it's buried in the sand, and they just wait for something to come in with the tide, so they're facing the tide. So you want to present up from up current, okay? You want your bait to be coming with the current. Uh, and that's another great way to catch snook. Great way to catch snook with, with live shrimp. I think that's it. Yeah, I just wanted to cover this as I get questions about all these different things all the time and I want to answer. So that's probably the best way to catch snook with live shrimp. But remember, in the wintertime, it's definitely the best way. Other times, you know, you got other fish available, other bait fish and things you can use. But in the wintertime, use shrimp. You'll be amazed how many more snook you catch. Um, that's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right, bye-bye.